Aladdin is hands down one of my favorite Disney animated features, which is jam-packed with action, adventure, and of course, comedy. And we've got your first look at the stars of the film. Aladdin! Hello, Aladdin. Nice to have you on the show. The cast of Disney's Aladdin have been announced, and filming has finally begun on the live-action remake. The genie who was voiced by the late Robin Williams left big shoes to fill when casting this unforgettable character. Genie of the Disney made the smart choice in bringing the hilarious Will Smith into the film as the genie. Do I look different to you? Although Will Smith doesn't have as many voices and characters as Robin Williams, I am quite happy with the casting choice. Will Smith is a likable actor and definitely has a great history in comedy. Moving on to Aladdin and Jasmine, Disney had a tough time finding Middle Eastern performing and singing actors who could play the roles. They searched far and wide in multiple countries, testing over 2,000 actors. Meet Mina Massad, who will play the bread-stealing thief Aladdin, and of course, Prince Ali, who was created by the genie from Aladdin's Wish. Massad was born in Egypt and raised in Canada, and became one of the lucky actors to score the coveted role. With big, trusting, warm eyes, Mina looks like he's ready to capture Jasmine's heart. A Disney princess is a huge honor, and Naomi Scott will play Jasmine, who is absolutely beautiful, and was last seen in the Power Rangers movie. She's a tough girl who wants to follow her own heart. Jasmine is one of the few princesses to not have her own song. Do you think she deserves one in the new remake? Leave your comment down below. No Disney movie is complete without a villain, and Marwan Kanzari will play the evil role of Jafar, who aims to steal the throne of Agrabah. Marwan is much better looking than the animated version. You could say he's hotter than the Agrabah Desert. Who else is Team Jafar? Numana Kar will be playing Hakim, who is one of the royal guards who are always after the street rat Aladdin. Personally, I think he would have made a much better Jafar with his narrow face and nose. Naveed Negabam will be the Sultan of Agrabah, who is Jasmine's father. Naveed looks great for the part as a much more believable father, without the overly round and pudgy body proportions that the animated character had. Aladdin is a classic film and Disney needs to do it right. Unfortunately, they're taking some liberties with the story and causing fans to scratch their heads. Meet Billy Magnuson, a white actor who will be playing a new character named Prince Anders in the film. Could he simply be playing a prince trying to steal Jasmine's heart? Or will he be playing a bigger role? Fans are not happy as it may seem like Disney shoved a white character in to help make the film more successful. Let's hope this news is blown out of proportion and the storyline stays true to the 1992 original. Like Abu and Raja and the Magic Carpet, Iago will be a CGI character. Gilbert Gottfried originally voiced Iago perfectly as an obnoxious loudmouth bird. I can't take it anymore! It will be very interesting to see who Disney chooses to voice Jafar's evil little buddy. Another big question is will there be songs in the film? Of course, your wish is granted as Aladdin has some of the best Disney songs ever. And the the actors Disney set out to find were required to have vocal chops. Alan Menken will return to score the film and the iconic songs with Howard Ashman and Tim Rice will be featured alongside two new songs from La La Land's Benj Pasik and Justin Paul. Aladdin is being directed by Guy Ritchie who said his primary interest in the film was because it was the Disney story he was closest to. He said my stories are really about street hustlers, that's what I know how to do and Aladdin is a classic street hustler who makes good. The movie is a huge undertaking to bring to life, full of magic, epic landscapes, action, and fairy tale visuals, and I can't wait to see what Disney does with it. If only I could wish it was out now. The live action Aladdin soars into theaters in 2018. We've got lots more movie news coming your way, so hit that subscribe button. For my first wish, I wish you'll watch more of my videos by clicking here. And my second wish, you click that subscribe button. Wait, I get one more wish, don't I? Uh, can I get some chicken nuggets?